Hello, how are you? I hope everything is alright with you, because today we are going to talk technical. I am going to explain to you what an exclusive OR gate is and many applications and hopefully you will see some curiosities that many people don't know about those toys. Alright, let me start just showing you how simple the concept is. This is an OR gate. You can either turn this lamp on using this lever or this other lever, maybe both at the same time. But sometimes you have to choose between going to the park, which is alright, or going to the mall, which is also alright. But you cannot go to both places at the same time. Alright, simple enough. And another simple definition of an exclusive OR is a gate that uh, will turn uh, on whenever any input changes, but it will turn off whenever the input are the same. Inputs are the same, sorry. Alright, let's see what's behind that. So it's completely silent and based on redstone torches. In the end of this tutorial, uh, we, will, we will build another one of those and I will show you uh, some other stuff you can do with it. So a classic uh, problem this system is here to solve is the lever door problem where you have one, one, one lever in one side to keep mobs away and you get in and you use the lever to close and you can e uh, also use the same lever to open again and close with another lever and the lever will not lock the door open or closed. The logic behind is the same. You just have to split the inputs apart and take your output in the middle. Then this torch here is your output directly connected to your door. Alright, let's see another advantage of this small circuit. You can stack or tile them together, lots of them. And you can link them using repeaters e either. And I don't know what you're gonna do with that, but if you want, you can. And they work the same. The output will go off as soon as all the, the inputs are the same. You can use this maybe for password checking, like secret entrances. If any of the torches in input something different, it will turn on. If they are all the same, it will turn off. Also, exclusive OR gates are used in basic math poor logic, in electronics, in calculators, mobile phones, and so many real stuff. This is the, the table, if you are more one of those guys that understand this, computational guys, I don't know. And let's see the example. Here we have 0 plus 0 equals 0 and 0 plus 1 equals 1 and 1 plus 0 equals 1 again and 1 plus 1 equals 0 and carry is 1 so this is the carry the sum is uh, performed by the next exclusive OR like I showed you and the carry is uh, calculated using an AND OR alright least uh, significant bit is here most significant bits here if you are technical you will understand, if you are not, it's just curiosity. Alright, here let me bring back some light, just to show you that you can really split the inputs apart along uh, really long lines in your maps, and it still works. Like if you change any of them, the panel turns on, if you change all of them, the panel turns off. And finally, what most people didn't know is that uh, exclusive OR, when fed back into itself, will become a T flip flop, a silent one. And you can get inside your useless room, alright, and you can change back the state because it is. This is the same exclusive OR, but I am feeding back the output into the one of the inputs. Alright, let's build one. It's very simple. I'm using repeaters here as inputs because they are close together, but you don't need to. You can use uh, redstone dust directly. Okay, build a bus here. Another torch here. Alright, redstone. 
invert. This is the inverted output. You can use this is ready to be used, or you can use the normal output. I use lamps here just so it is more clear but not necessary. So turn on either of them, the lamps on. Turn both, it's off. To make a T flip flop, silent T flip flop, just get your output in one of the inputs and here change it and it has to be four ticks here. Four ticks. Alright, some things happening here. Ah yes, this lever must go. And here we can even it we can use a button. Okay, so this is stable now. And it will turn off now. This is stable. And because it's it's a flip flop that works with this uh, sort of unstable transition, you can use this simple pulse to control uh, a simple double piston extender, vertical, vertical one. So, oh, all right. If we press it now, it gives two pulses, and they will retract uh, a flush vertical double piston extender. Let's try it again. As you can see, it messes up a little bit, but the final result is an extended piston extender. <laughs> Again, okay. So that's it, guys. Exclusive, or I believe sometimes it's underestimated. You can do many stuff with that. This uh, I I created this because I remember that uh, the the logic equation for a T flip flop uh, uses. Uh, an exclusive OR gate, so simple. So that's it for today. Let me go do many stuff here and see you soon. Bye bye. Now they move only on demand because they use a falling edge detector. As you can see, they were able to sort of.